Welcome everyone to the first show of the 2014 season of King of the Palace, brought to you by the New Palace Lanes here in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. I'm your host, Steve Bronchuk. And I'm Dave Matala. And on today's episode of King of the Palace, the returning champ, Dan Gauthier, faces a whole new field of opponents. First up, number four seed, Jeff Kelly. Gonna be a spectacular match. Let's get to the action. Up first, the number four seed, Jeff Kelly, bowling at a big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. His qualifying score today was a 380. His average is a 111. Okay, up first, Jeff Kelly, alley three. First Go, box delivery. Going up against shoes. He wants to take his title. Yeah. A little wide right there. I believe this is Jeff uh, Jeff Kelly's first appearance on the uh, King of the Palace. Yeah, I think I already mentioned that. Yeah. A little wide left on that spear attempt to leaving the head pin for the ten box. Okay, opened up with a nine box. You know, I want to take this opportunity to welcome a past King of the Palace participant and a good friend of mine, Dennis Nuzzo. Welcome, Dennis. Pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. Wide left, but left the head pin for the spare. Off a little bit on the object, gets a spare leave, just the head pin. Yeah, got a little bit of luck on that one. Let's see if you can't pick this one up for the spare. I think he's just going to go right after the pin. Oh, he went to play the wood, or maybe he didn't. Unfortunate. A little bit left, missed it. Dennis, how many times have we seen that? Uh, it's very frustrating, especially when it's just a single pin. You get a straight shot at it, and you miss it because it's all on you. You have all that wood around there, and he oh, did it again. Wow. He knew it, shaking his head. Up now, the reigning King of the Palace champion, Dan Gauthier. This is his third appearance on the show. He bowls at a river walk in Amesbury, Mass. And his average is a 118. Returning King, looking to retain his crown. Well, he wants to. You can look at the determination. There it is. Opening ball right on the head pin. And he's left, left the 10 pin. Excellent first shot. You know, talking with Dan, you know, over his reign of being the king, you know, he hosts, co-hosts that new gen Canlipin Bowling for Kids on Nesson. All his kids are pulling for him to, you know. And he unfortunately missed the 10 pin for the, the spare. Also another one pin that was missed. Opens up with a 10 box going on with the alley four. The trick is you just got to bounce back from that, put it out of your mind. It's already done. You know. It's gone. It's over with. Forget about it. Concentrating on getting that head pink at the pocket. And right, right. right. It's the Kaleri. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's correct. What does what that refer to again, Dennis? Is the Kaleri? Uh, it's a name. It's named after Bob Kaleri. He's a, he's a bowler. Um, he bowls sub in the pro league. Uh, he's well known throughout. And this is like one of the leaves he's always left. So they named it after him. A four horseman left with the nine pin. I assume if it happens four horseman on the right with the eight pin, it's the same thing? Correct. Oh, Correct. He just missed the head pin, the object he needed to make the spare, and he fills, he fills. Picks it up to ten. Opens up with two tens. Not a bad start. No, nothing wrong no. with that. You're a big fan of pinning, pin pinning. Hey, it doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. 
You know, a pin's a pin. Boy, it does feel great to be back. The 2014 season underway here at the King of the Palace. Looking forward to some good bowling. David yep. and Dennis, great feeling. Okay, oh, why, now there it is again. Dennis, you call it. Put it out there again. Kaleri. <laughs> there it is. Be absolutely correct. Something tells, oh. something tells me this is going to be one of these leaves that I'm going to get tired of hearing out and I want to <laughs> end up calling it some other crazy it's name. It's Candle Pinball and where else? He's, oh, look at that. Drills the head pin, takes out only the one and the nine, and three pins stand erected on the left side. Uh, don't use the word erected. That's no, just creepy, uh, man. Leaves the two, four, seven, working on it to pick up a ten. Oh, creeper. How does that happen? How does that uh, yeah. he He's got five pins. two pin up. Uh, I'm not even going to do it. All right, he's on, going on to LD4. Steve, I just have to ask, did you take your medicine this morning? Yes, I did. Thank you. I did. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, you for asking. The wind-up. Oh, he threw the ball in the ocean on that one. He's left the one, the eight. The six and the ten. What do you think here, Dennis? Well, I'm gonna wait till this wood to stop settling down so we got the shoot at. He's got yeah, I gotta drill the head pin. Yeah, yeah. Gotta drill it. See what happens. I'm thinking the six pin's gonna stay. Oh no. He left the eight and the ten. Yeah. It's gonna Don't. be a pretty tough pickup. Oh, yeah, very difficult. Parallel pins. Probably try to push that ten off the sidewall. Yeah, that'd be a best bet. That eight pin, there's nothing to help him out. Picks up the eight, leaves a nine. Up now, Shu. Shu getting ready to throw. The defending king of the palace. He's wearing the palace champion crown very proudly. He's happy. He won the tournament. He's here to defend it. Let's see what happens. Looking for a first mark of the day. We need it. Oh, he's wide left. Almost the same leave. Yes. Uh, we got a piece of dead wood. That leaves the wood. one, eight, and the ten with a piece of dead wood. That was removed because it was over the line. And how many inches in front of that head pin is that line, David? 22 inches. Oh, went to the left of the head pin. Wanted the contact any left side or right, but unfortunately missed it. 22 inches. Yes, in front of the head pin. The pin must be removed if it has any contact with it. Oh, he missed it to the right. He knows it. Disappointing seven, but the shoe will come back. And there's that piece of wood that he was uh, waiting for. That was 22 inches over the line. A minimum of 20. So it must have been 22 and a half. That Could have been, line. maybe 22 and 38. So no, I mean, right. Next time we'll get on there with a slide. You get the slide rule and you do a ball, right? No, you, okay, here he goes. On four, delivery. Oh, look at this. This ugliness. is an ugly leave. Oh, oh my goodness. The wood. That looks like a 1970s outfit right there. Leaving the one, two, seven, eight, nine, six, and ten. Oh. Now he's left with the one, the six, the seven, nine, ten for for just the ten bucks. Tough pickup for a ten. Dennis, play the three in the right or go oh. after the head pin. I'd probably go on the three for the, on the right just to have it yeah. out, you know. Try to get the fill. <coughs> left, left Uncle Elmer's teeth up there. That's right. That, that's what it's considered to be. And what do we got after? Right now oh. it's uh, Jeff Kelly with an eight pin lead. It's uh, 41 to 33. He was the fourth seed with a 380. Oh, and he's wide left. Nobody can seem to dial that one pin in to just an adjustment. The, the head the pin left. has been up after the first ball delivery, which is the key to the whole game. You got to get the head pins. There's got to be a force field around that. Well, hopefully he makes the spell. Oh, God, nice there it off. is. Nice pickup. You call it. Nice shot. Off the right of the head pin, everything else goes. First mark of the day. That's a good confidence booster for Jeff Kelly going into this box. Come on, he wants the 8, 9, or the 10. Come on, Jeff. Deliver. Whoa! He's left the 5 and the 10, better known in Candlepin Bowling as the, the Woolworth split. Yeah, he's got a lot of junk on the table. I don't know. Where are you going to go here, Dennis? Spray and pray. There Probably you go, really baby. <laughs> spray and pray. Dave's famous line, spray and pray. I've heard that expression a number of times. Yep. 
He's up at the he's up at the altar. Yep. Spraying for you. I don't know where he's going. Just bang it. See what happens. Oh! That, oh no! Did you see what happened? That the ball, ball went into the right side. <laughs> completely missed the pin. There it is on replay. The ball didn't make contact with the pin. No, it's uh. Oh, how frustrating can that be? It's like a dancer right around it. Yeah, he thought he had it. Bounced in front of it, the ball looked at it, laughed, and went around it. It's the guards that can't open bowling. That's all there is to it. All right, issue. Whoa, kind of a light hit there, Dennis, I think. Uh, it's not too bad, though. He's got yeah. some favorable wood. Which way are you going to go, David? Uh, this one's going to be kind of tough. I would try to, uh, to hit that piece of wood in front of the three to slide it over, just call like that. It. You call it? First time I got to see this shot. Beautiful shot, nice pickup shoe. Now, him working off of his first mark. Well, he'd like to get the eight and nine to 10 too. Oh, he's gonna make up a little bit of pins. Pins too, maybe you it's, maybe, maybe the hammer. The strike, oh, he's, oh! The four, six, seven, ten, and candle pin bowling, David, better known as what? Um, double the, the double pinochle. The double, oh, we're going to the old folks home, people. <laughs> but why does it happen? How does that happen? He hits the head pin, he drills it, and he leaves a mo uh, just Threw the ball 60 feet down the alley, he hit his object penalized. pin, and he got penalized, penalized with a double pinochle. The double pinochle. I don't know. I Prune don't juice know. for everybody. Oh, I'm <laughs> telling you what. Now he, he, he gets leaves a nine the 10 point. pin. Oh. <laughs> Candle pin ball. See, Dennis, all set. There it is. You asked for this craziness? I love it. I love the enthusiasm. <laughs> Jeff Kelly after six, 63. Dan Gothier, 58. Just in the right. Oh, look Throws at this. the ball in the ocean. He's left a 1-7-9 with some wood. I don't think, Dennis, I don't think the wood's going to play an effect on this no, at all. No, it's not going to have a factor at all. No, you got to shoot the left left hand side of the head pin to try to push the ball into the 7 and the other pin into the 9. Got to try something here. Yeah. you got to uh, obviously make contact with the head nice pin. Nice little finesse shot. Oh, almost. Little thin. Little thin. Right Just idea. Gonna, right idea, yeah. Yep, yep. Look at that beautiful sign back there, you know? Yeah, there it is, the king of the palace. Executive producer created that oh, thing of beauty. You. Little out there of time. Is. Little out of time. Add a little bit of this and that. Pretty soon we're going to have uh, uh, card girls. Well, who wanted that? Who, who was the one who wanted that? I don't Jimmy remember. Nester? I think it was Jimmy Nester. No, I think it was either uh, Steve Pizan or Billy Palumbo wanted uh, the card girls card running girls. around with bikinis and all that yeah, kind of no. garbage. Saying, well, now he's left a nice one, string two. little weak shot here. He's left the one, two, and the four. Better known in candle pin bowling as the Queens Lee. Three pins in succession up. Uh, Got to the, split them. Was it, well, let's see if he, she, he can't behead this queen. Be all good, good, good. Try whatever you want to call it. I don't care, David. Dennis, Travis. Please leave. Uh, That's what it's called. You got, but you got I can, to go to, I can go to the Outback and have the Queensland chicken and shrimp. No, you could, yeah. I, I, mean, I guess that's a Queens League, too. That, that could be, too. Huh? Picks up the 10. Yeah, and you know, that's where he wanted to put the second ball, unfortunately. He, he's disappointed. He's shaking his head. He understands. <laughs> he missed it. We've all been there. I've been there. You've been there. Dennis and Madras. It's can up and bowling. When are you going to do it? All right, come on, Shoe. Get that head pin. Come on, come on. Drifted left. What does it produce? The half Worcester. Half Worcester left, the two and the eight. My favorite shot. It's so beautiful when this shot is hit right and it goes. Wow, well, they've always said that as long as you get the head pin up, it's a spare leaving. There it is. There it is, David. Beautiful you call it. Shot. You call it. That is such a pretty shot look when at, it goes. Look at the excellent replay. You call it. It is a beautiful shot. It is. No doubt about it. What a confidence builder. Come on, she. Oh, oh wow. Oh. That's disappointing. You make a beautiful shot and come up. What do you think happened? Like Dennis just held it a little bit too long. He held on to it yeah. a little too yeah. long, yeah. Dennis, you've been on the show before. Oh, I have. You know, um, what are these guys thinking about as they're bowling? You know, knowing that the cameras are on and, and they have a lot of pressure going on them. Essentially, you want to try to put uh, the fact that the cameras are on you out of your mind and just concentrate on your bowling. Um, and not even so much what you, your opponent's throwing. You just want to bowl, bowl the best you can and try to get the highest score as possible. I mean, of course, 
it doesn't always happen that way. You always <laughs> do have it in the back of your mind, thinking about what the other guy's throwing, and you're always trying to put pressure on yourself to try to just do as best as you can. But You've been there. I haven't been there, but... Right now, Jeff Kelly's holding on to an eight-pin lead. Boy, he's zeroing in. Look at the look at the approach. Look at the concentration. Boy, he wants that head pin. Oh, he's giving it wide right. And he's left. Shoe goes left. Kelly goes right. right. Uh, another disappointing leave. Jeez, I thought he was going to be a little bit better than that. He's left the 7 and the 8 for the 10. With a piece of wooden rolling around, probably going to end up in the channel. That's about it for that. And oh, he went to the right and just he tried, missed it. Yeah, he tried to kiss that 8 to send it over to the 7. seven. So, Dennis, uh, tell me, um, you know, since you've done the show and, and you know, you partake in a couple of the qualifying. What do you think of the format and being 80% handicapped? Is it a hinder or does it help people out or does it? Well, I, I think it helps a lot of people out. You, know, uh, you have the tournaments that are just strictly straight up. There's no handicap involved, which is, you know, for lack of a better term, higher caliber bowlers. But at least with a format like this, you get everybody coming in. And people who have never been on TV finally get a chance to be on TV. Uh, and this helps them out with that, especially with that format. Very well said. Jeff shoot for the spin. Oh, he oh, got it. There it are is. you kidding me? There it is. Watch it carefully, people. Oh, you know what? There he it is. The dead wood made contact. Oh. And, with another, and it fell down. Fall down. I'm going I'm, I'm to tell, tell you this right now. Jeff <laughs> Kelly better go wipe his feet because I'm telling you, he missed that one so far left that the piece of wood had oh, to come out and got a little help in the gutter. The Jeff, you better go wipe your feet because you got lucky on that spare, kid. You better make it count. It doesn't matter. Is it a mark? It's a mark. Yeah, it all looks good. Found. Oh, you only dropped seven. I thought he was going to get better than that. Hey, luck skill. It looks the same okay. on paper. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. you're absolutely right on that. But still, wipe your feet on that one because you got lucky. <laughs> okay, here we go. Dan Galtier, shoe. What? Nobody button. else is going to. What? 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 I'm the bad guy for saying that? No, well, you're entitled to say what you want to say. Yeah, okay, he's up in the ninth box. Uh, and I'll tell you what, what, Jeff, if I offended you, I apologize. No, but, and if I did offend you, you'll let me know now, in the lawyer form. Dennis, here we have four <laughs> pins grouped together. The diamond. one, the two, the three, the five. As I've been... He's got the diamond going. It's also called the bucket, the dinner bucket. It's I right. don't see any chicken hanging out of that. Oh, he made nice it! He made up. it! Oh, he, what a shot! He dropped the diamond cutter on that one. Excellent shot. Very difficult to make, maybe made two out of ten times. Very difficult shot. On the fill. Oh, disappointing three. And Very can, disappointing. In candle pin, it's more, it's called the uh, diamond more. Uh, ten pin, it's usually the bucket. That okay. Use it better. Thank you. Yeah, and, and okay. everybody knows in the candle pin world that ten pin bowling is a bowl. That's correct. Oh, I, I, nice. Oh, oh look at that comeback. That's why he is the king. That's right. Great Once shot. again, any time that head pin is up, you got a shot for the oh, yeah. spare. You got to get that head pin. Now he wants to fill. He wants the big fill now. Let's see what happens. Shoe delivers. Only drop six. Look at this ugliness. <laughs> Good place to leave it though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Leave it right there and push the button and walk oh, away. Exactly. That's it. Two, then after one. After one, it is Jeff Kelly 106, Dan Gothier 107. Right now, Jeff has a four-pin lead over Dan going into match number two. It's getting kind of tight for the yeah. king. David, uh, just quickly, if we can, can you explain to the audience exactly what, how we put that, what they call a uh, handicap or a dentist quickly when you bowl? Oh, the handicap? Yeah, yeah. just for a little brief to the people. Bowling land. Really? Well, some people don't understand it. Okay, the handicap going into this into the tournament is the, the your highest average. Nice oh, pickup nice for the spare. spare. Nice spare. Is the bowler of that day's highest average? If it's a 118, is the highest average, then everybody else will get 80 percent of that 118, and that carries on to the actually TV show That's portion right. of it. So it can vary. So if somebody comes in with a 130 average and they don't make the show, nice eight pin drop. Yep, that's what he wanted. Yeah, some luck on that one. Yeah, he did. <laughs> make it count this time.
Nice pickup well, again. Two, two spares in a row. So Great way to start off. So yep. Shu has a 111 average and Jeff Kelly has a 107 average, then Jeff Kelly would be getting pins. I see. Very good. Thank so you. So yep. it's always alternating, always changing. Right. Always changing. Okay. It's never set. Jeff up on alley three, string number two, box number one. Oh, no. Half Worcester oh, left. Oh, what a disappointment. What a disappointing way, Dennis, to start off the second string. Yeah, but I mean, if he can make a shot, like you said, it's pretty when it goes. Yeah, it's very pretty when it goes. Made what? Oh, One no. Out of I, don't, I don't even want to hit the know. percentages. I don't know. I have no. Oh. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't want to hit the percentages. Well, he's got to get out of this with at least, uh, hopefully, a 9 or a 10. Opens up yeah, an unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. The greatest sport in the world here at the King of the Palace. The best bowling lanes around. It's Candlepin bowling. That's all I can say about it. Okay, he's got to come back on after this disappointing seven. Jeff's favorite leave is actually the nine pin with wood. Oh, God, no. <laughs> nine pin with wood. Who doesn't like a one pin leave with wood? <laughs> <laughs> at least he's honest. He's got the piece of wood there. Hey, look, it's like the mini Kaleri. Now, if the piece of wood is directly in front of the pin, it's called what? Oh, Bonwood, B A R. Yeah. He's going after the full husband. And oh, the oh he just missed. It's not the Caleri, so glad you didn't say it. No. <laughs> you almost did. Almost did, but I did. It was not the nine <laughs> pinup, it was the eight pinup. Okay, he's got the one in the eight for the ten. Dennis, drill this head pin straight on, you think, or to the left of it? Yeah, I mean, just straight on it because you don't know what that dead wood going to do. It's going to deflect it one way or the other, so you just okay, try to open up on an eight. Excuse me, the second box you got in there. All right. After the opening, opening round, Dan Goff had. Knocked that lead out, and now he has the three pin lead. Now he's going off. Working on a spare again. He, he wants to fill. He wants the big fill. He wants the hammer, hopefully. See what happens. Haven't seen one yet. Oh! Oh, oh he's well, getting look at a this. big break on this oh, one. Oh, look at this! A nine pin drop. Where was the first contact made? He's smiling. He knows he got a break, but it's candle pin bowling. They even out. Well, you know what's going to happen is all, all the naysayers out there be like, oh, that place is juiced. Nice pickup. Nice pickup. Nice pick Drilled it right on. Am I wrong? No. I've, I've heard that, but I've bowled here, and I can tell you that it's it's not. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's no rhyme or reason why that happened. It you know happens. what it is? It's, can, it's can open bowling. That's what it is. A lot of the times, well, it's the rotation of the ball. ball could be. Yo, know, because I throw I throw a ball w with some spin on it, and if I throw the ball into the ocean, I may get lucky and catch the pin just the right way. <laughs> And it's just all, it's its its kind of like playing pool. It's all English. Oh, he missed it. Pulling the string. Oh. Somebody cut the string off. Now see. She was pulling it. We have seen shots like this numerous times. Where the piece of dead wood and the, hits it and the pin falls. What do you think the speed is? How fast does that piece of wood have to roll into my, I don't know. Do you know? Not off the top of my head. No, I'll have to do some research. It's also what part of the pin hits. If the, if yeah. the middle of the pin hits the pin, it's you heavy. have more chance of Right, that's correct. Going Thank over. you. Thank you. Very good observation. Did not come up with that. Oh, wide oh. right, too. But, but he's left a favorable spear leave. Yep, there's those juice lanes again. No, Dennis didn't. I didn't say they were juice. You no, said some you other they, people say they Yeah, right. some other people say they Well, we don't count those as people. We did. They said we don't want to deal with those people. They're not juiced here at the Palace. The new Palace <laughs> lanes are fair and honest. He's going for the... Oh! Yeah, you, you, you can see the sign right on the plate. It says sun-kissed. Juiced. <laughs> Freshly squeezed. He thought he had that spare. Yeah. He thought he had the triangle, the five, seven, eight. Excuse me, five, eight, nine. He just didn't go, Dennis. Oh. You saw it. Well, he had a bad piece of wood. Of course, he had a nice ten. Behind. Oh, he's disappointed with that shot. Oh, he, he's shaking his head. He's disappointed. He knows he thought he had it. I just want to take this moment to to, to thank Dennis again for sitting in. Um, I also want to mention that the Twin City Challenge is underway. You can qualify either here at New Palace Lanes or you can qualify over at Mason's Bowling Alley. There's an A and B division. Men and women are both welcome. Men will bowl 10 strings. Women will bowl 5 strings. Um, you have until March 16th to qualify. And March 22nd will be the B division men at Mason's. And we'll be hosting... Yes. On the 29th, the A division for both men and women. Nice pickup. Oh, yeah. Had to go spare. Out. Had to do, go directly to the five pin. I wouldn't have chased no, it's, that wood. Um, it's all scratch. Um, Very so fun. it's designed for anybody. If, you yeah. know, you guys want to come down and give it a shot. 
the Twin City Challenge. Yep, first, so time, first annual. First Twin annual, that's absolutely correct. And Chu is so wide left. He's left a disappointing cluster. cluster. Look at this lead. Now, once again, here we go if you angle in. Why did the 10 pin fall down? How does that happen? The, the little troll did it. Something. I don't know. I haven't got an explanation for it. Okay, he's got the 5 and the 8 left for uh, 10 bucks he would like to have. it. He was disappointed with that first shot. He knows it, but he'll come back. Oh, he's the king. He pick up the 10. He's the defending champ. Came out about a 9. Must feel pretty good, though, David, to walk down Fitchburg and Kimball Street and River Street. He's the king of the palace. He's wearing it. That's what we all strive for. Well, it's a TV show. He won it. He's the champ. And a very deserving champ, That's you know. Right. Like I said, you know, he, oh no, no. Hey, he, he picked this up before. This half Worcester left. He's oh, done he's, it before. That's you know? three, what three times in the last six boxes, I think. He, I wasn't right, counting. Yeah. But you know, he turns around and, and you know he's got a lot of a lot of his kids pulling for him. Yeah, and, I know his TV you know, show up there with the children. That's spectacular. That, that, you know, he, whoa, 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 whoa! Come on, fall down seven. Ah, you. What, 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 what? Hey, hey, it's a now why? Show. Now why did the pin not fall into the seven and give him a spare? Uh, why did it fall in front of it instead of falling into it? Because what? God, it's candle pin bowling. Because the god said no. No, he got the ten. Okay, come on, Dennis coming out of the box with a ten on the... That's not bad at all. Not bad. Yeah. I can live with that. Okay, here it is. Here's the big shot for Jeff. He needs it. He wants the big fill. He's working on the spare. A lot of times with the half horse, you try to overcorrect and you wind up punching the other punch side it, out. Punch that's good. Yeah. Then you're going to Worcester. Then you're all the way, all the way, all to, Worcester. All the way to Worcester. Right. <laughs> yep. Into the center. He finally got the head corner, right? And he and leaves the diamond. What does he left, Dennis? The diamond. David, what does he left? Two, four, five, and eight. Better known as? The diamond. Steve, okay. what's he left? The diamond. The bucket list. <laughs> Oh, God, he's yeah. got to drill this. Let's see if he can't hey, cut this. Oh, yes! If we've seen it twice. We've seen it made twice. No wood drilled into the two and obliterated the other three. Diamond cutter. Absolutely. Had to have a perfectly thrown ball to make the spare, and he got it. Okay, here he goes for the fill. He no. wants the 8, 9, and 10. Well, hey, he's been, Jeff Kelly's been doing this for 33 years, so I'm pretty sure there hasn't Whoa. been a shot that he has not seen. He just drilled the right side, dropped a very favorable two pin up for a spare leave, the one and the two. Dennis, do you shoot this head on into the head pin or you try to split them? I, I, try, I, I try to split them. Split them, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you never Dave, know if yeah. you hit a two full, it's going to yeah, That's bounce David's around. theory to a mine, too. Oh! Yeah. He cooked it. Didn't make contact right? with the head pin. Every pin counts. You can't throw any pins away in this game because yo, you're yeah. always going to kick yourself in the tail if you find out that you lost by one pin. But he's disappointed. We've all been there. Two pins sitting after there. After six. After six. Jeff Kelly, 70. Dan Gothier, 83. Now we're coming down to the crunch time. Yep, yep. Final four boxes. Zeroing in. There's the concentration. There's the look. Oh, right, right again. And he's left the four. Hossman with the eight. No wood. Going to be very difficult. Very difficult shot. Dave, how many times have you seen it? You've lost strings. You know, Friday nights alone, when people are just throwing, <laughs> pin, throwing pins away, you know, not trying for that last pin. Yeah, it's, you know, it, it's one of those things where if you miss a single pin, it is what it is. You, you get frustrated at yourself. Never throw a ball away um, because you're not only hurting yourself, you're hurting your team. Um, nice a, team. Nice team. Okay. That's always been my philosophy. I've, and I've lost by people getting upset, you know, by losing one or two pins. Um, I've won by somebody, you know, thinking that they were down by more and come to find out there was a math error, math error and they missed by one pin. Oh. You know, and they get upset at themselves and it's, you know, it's, it just looks bad on the sport when you, you act like a knob and, you know, it's, it's supposed to be fun and competitive and a lot of the places where you go, people are, 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 are oh. you know, are competitive, but they're also a good camaraderie about it, you know. Took out the half whistle left, put the second ball in the same place. Yep. Same thing that Jeff did in the first turn. Why does it happen? Why does it happen? Who knows? It's candle pin. It's all ball release. That's all. Oh, maybe get no. Almost got a ten out of. It. Out of that though. Yeah. Jeff Kelly's uh, high single is actually a 188. That's 
pretty that's damn a, good. That's, that's darn good you know? goal. It had to be a double or triple strike in there somewhere to get that. I would think so. Yeah, it'd have to. Couldn't do it. Well, I suppose you could do it with 10 spears with 9 drops. But. Okay, here he goes. Oh, and he's wide left. Now Whoa. he finds the head pin. Thought he'd get better, and he's left four. Three, six, ten, and nine with a piece of wood running up to the left. This isn't really going to do him any good. You'd probably just have to try to hit this one hit right on the three and try to push everything around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Didn't want that. Very, very disappointing. You know, his high triple is a 430, and his high 10 is actually a, a pretty respectable 1302. That's 130 average. No. Well, he's got to fill this last box, hopefully, with a strike. No. He put a little extra oomph oh, on that ball. He's just left the seven. They actually haven't seen any hammers tonight. No. It's well, kind of surprising. Shoot, a lot of spares. He's shooting the seventh pin. Go right at this pin. Stay away from all that wood because you don't have no idea what that wood's going to do. Oh, well, he played it, though, and he got it. He got lucky. He got lucky, yeah. I would have tried to go right after it. I'll see once again. The replay showing the ball deflecting off the piece of dead wood into the seventh pin, and he got the spare. Dan he holding on to a seven pin lead. Going into the ninth box. You know, both these guys have been doing this for over 30 plus years, you know, so they're veterans dead. of it and they know what they're doing. Oh, wide left again, and he's left the one, the three, and the seven. You know, shoes high singles are 191, and his high triples are 464, so. Oh, that is some good bowling. It's, uh,. It's awesome, and, and he's put on a pretty good show for his kids. Well, he's got to drill his head pin here. Yes. It's okay. He wants to fill the spare. Put some distance between him and Jeff. Let's see what happens. Look hey. at the concentration. Shoe better not overlook this opponent because. Okay. You know, oh, got it. Left just the 10 pin for the spare. He got the nine drop. The 10 pin alone in candle pin bowl on the seven, known as the corner of the building shot. He wants it. I don't know, David Dennis, gonna play any wood here? No, we gonna go, I go right at the pin. Go right after the pin. You never know what the wood's gonna do. Let's see what happens. Oh, and he, right oh, well, he well, you know, well. well, maybe he didn't. The ball. Didn't do what he wanted, well, you never know. But well, he's kind of smirking at it, because I think what he wanted yeah, to do I is know, he, wanted to, he wanted to go for the pin, but, and you know. And the ball hit the wood? I guess if, if you're going to miss it, miss it where the wood's at, because the wood's going to probably help you out, you it's know, 80% of the time. What else can you say? He's going to fill. Oh. Got a sip, maybe an eight? Come on, follow Two, four, over. seven with a piece of, two pieces David, of wood. David, get down there and take that nail out of there bottom of that pin. Oh, that's yeah. all you need to hear. Oh my God in heaven. I know. <laughs> the lanes are juiced. The sun kissed on the sun kissed on the alley. Now, now, now we're gluing pins to the deck. I juice, didn't see that. juice with no strikes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> juice with no strikes. Oh, big box. Oh yeah, and, and what? No 22.2 seconds of a spare? <laughs> he wants to fill. He's Jeff up. on the spare. Stop. Wide right, he's left the four horsemen left. Better known as what in candle pin bowling, Dave, and you call the one. Who are those four? four uh, oh, Mo, Larry, Curly, and Shemp. Or Stru oh, Arne Anderson, Tully Blanchard, Ric Flair, and Ole Anderson. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Or the 1910. No, 1926 Milton no, football team. That nobody Stu knows. Stu Dreyer, Mayor, Crowley, and Leighton. I prefer Mo, Larry, Curly, and Shemp. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> me too. And there goes Mo. <laughs> hey, Mo! <laughs> No, yeah. oh, we gotta have fun. It's can't open bowling. There's nothing like it. No, nope. it's here down here at the King of the Palace. Like Daniel I said, in, in you know, meeting Jeff for the first time. You know, great guy, facilitator of the the Voya forums and stuff like that. Keeping it clean, making sure everybody has a voice, and and I know the three of us here respect what he does, and you know, he keeps the tries to keep the trash off of it, and that's the way it should be. He, he threw a nice first ball here, Dennis. He's left the seven eight. You're gonna play the wood, day, David, Dennis? Or you, yeah, you have to. You have to Which one? No, no, nothing. Nothing happened. Oh, whoa! Maybe I spoke too soon. Oh, I thought for a minute they were gonna rock down into the. No, moves it ball. over just a little bit. No, it's kind of tough, you know, with that kind, with that much wood. 
I probably would have taken a few more seconds to analyze which way to throw the ball. Oh, there's um, the field goal. <laughs> I would have played the wood, but I probably would have played it more to the right. Well, and the final is... The reigning king shoot. Defeating Jeff Kelly by the score of 235 to 226. Saw no strikes. Very rare in King of the Pals, but we saw nine spares by yeah. Dan Galtier and five by Jeff Kelly. It's one of those things where every pin counts. Nine pin victory for Dan Galtier, who's going to defend this championship as we go on to the next round.